Hi, everyone. How is everyone? I'm super excited about today's live stream. I'm, we're going to wait a little, just a little bit for a few more people to come on so that we can get started. We've got a really exciting tutorial today, by the way. I am really, really excited about this because I've kind of been trying out this whole look over the last few days. And I wanted to really make sure that, that it works and it does. Trust me. So like I've been asking my husband for like, you know, his opinion throughout the day because we've been outside most of the time and he's been telling me what it looks like and I've been checking myself as well. And by the way, we're in Singapore. So it's a bit of a different different place for us today for this tutorial. So um, yes, very excited. Come on and say hi guys, because I really love it when I can see your messages because I feel like I know who I'm speaking to. <laughs> so feel free to come on, come on and, and say hello. And yeah, so it's been really nice so far, this whole trip. There's been a lot of walking a lot of walking. So I'm, I'm quite tired. I don't think I really anticipated this much walking, to be honest with you. So like every day, my husband and I are like, oh my gosh, my legs are killing me, you know. So hi, guys. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Catherine. And I don't know how you say your name, but <laughs> you're from, hi, Nina. I'm from the UK. So I, I'm not sure how you actually pronounce your name. So please just let me know in the comments so that I can actually say your name properly. Um, hi, Christina. Oh, is this your first live that you've caught? This is so cool. It's a special one because guys, I don't know if you were here a second ago, but I'm in Singapore. So yeah, we've decided to take a little trip, a little holiday for ourselves and so excited about this live because you guys are going to love this. You honestly, you guys are going to love this. So I just said a second ago, I'm going to repeat just what I said very quickly. I have been testing this routine this entire time I've been in Singapore and it's worked out. You know, we've already been here for a good four days, I think. And it's been amazing. It's worked so well. So I'm so excited to share this routine with you today because this look is amazing when you it's amazing when you are in the heat it's heat proof it's humidity proof I actually cannot get over how amazing this sits on my skin I put my makeup on in the morning so like eight this time it's 8 a.m here in the moment just a couple of minutes past 8 a.m here and by the end of the day my makeup is still looking so good throughout the day I don't get any shine or anything it just I actually cannot believe how amazing this has been sitting on my skin so I'm super super excited to share this with you so quick hello to some more people hi Renee hi Sheena hi I'm just going to pick out some pick out because there's so many now <laughs> so many and uh who else have we got hi Shanti Hi, Sean. And we've got Brittany, Nana. It's midnight. I'm in the UK. I love the effort, guys. I love it. I know it's a different time everywhere in the world, wherever you guys are. And I'm so, so appreciative that you guys like log on and like to chill with me and watch me put makeup on. So your first live session, there's quite a few of you that it's your first live session. Really excited for you guys. Had a little bit of practice so far, so I should be a bit better today. But yeah, as I said, in Singapore today, and it is so humid. <laughs> Guys, I know I live in Dubai, so I'm used to the heat, but it's a different type of heat. It's dry heat there. Here, it's like you are drenched so quickly. It's like you go outside and you're like, oh, this is so nice. It's like just a nice kind of warmth and then before you know it you're just drenched it's just crazy <laughs> so okay hi Alexa I I totally get it so you can't stay on because it's what is it it's 8 p.m 8 p.m there so 8 p.m wow you you go to bed early that's good though that's very good <laughs> 
You're in Bermuda. Amazing. Have fun. Okay, let's get started with skincare, guys. Oh, so many of you are on this live for the first time. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I bought some new makeup while I've been here, by the way. I went to Sephora, and there's a couple of brands that we don't get in Dubai. And yeah, excited to, I've been excited to try. I've been trying it for the last few days, and I've loved it. I'm just so excited for you guys to learn about these products and see this. So I'm using my... Charlotte Tilby Glow Toner. I've been using this for a little while now. I can't remember if I used this on the last live, but it's really good. I do like it. I think I like the, the it's like a clove smell in there, and I really like it. So I'm going to use this all over. Actually, my skin's been pretty good while I've been out here, I have to say. You know, sometimes you go away on holiday and you're like, oh, God, how is my skin going to react to this weather? It's actually been quite good here. Wow. Can't believe how many of you are on a live for the first time. This is now my, I believe, my third live. And, yeah, we're doing it every Sunday. And I'm really excited. I love it because I feel like I can actually chat to you guys and I get to meet you. And it's a bit better than the kind of like, you know, I see your comments and everything. But it's really nice to actually have a chat like talk with you I feel like you're you're here you know so okay I've put that glow toner on and next up I'm gonna put some eye cream which is my drunk elephant ceramite af eye balm and this stuff has been great so I'm gonna put some of this on straight after this I'm heading up to breakfast starving so hungry Oh my God, first few days, to be fair, even last night, so I've like hardly had any sleep. We just can't get to sleep because of the jet lag. Like we just can't fall asleep. We're up like at crazy times. And so the other day I was sitting up in bed and we were both just watching stuff on our laptops and I watched the Love is Blind reunion. Guys, have you seen the reunion? It was crazy it was kicking off I was just sitting there like oh my god oh my god it was like it wasn't it like an hour or something I could not believe it by the way now I'm what I'm using my Fenty Beauty watch your tone look how I said it like that it's watch your tone watch your tone it's the ceramide treat like serum I always find it's a bit weird to get out it's just like comes out whenever it feels like coming out there you go go so gonna put some of this on and by the way because this has niacinamide and a couple of more ingredients you know you've well even if you're not wearing this to be honest you know you've got to make sure you've got your spf on so i am kind of putting a decent amount of spf on which i'm going to show you So let's see what a couple of you are saying while I let this dry on the skin. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I can't believe how many of you are on for the first time. So tell me why. Is it because you were just busy or is it because this timing is, you know, better for you? Like, what's the deal? Because obviously I'm trying to figure out what time is great for you guys uh, that still works for me with my timing in Dubai. Oh, like a whole load of this just came out. Let me just get this out. Okay. By the way, this now is my Sarah Chapman Icon Day. It's my, it has SPF 20 in here. And I started, you. well, actually, I wasn't using this before I left. But I thought, let me just take a cream that has SPF in it. Because I want to double up with that and then my SPF. It doesn't double up, by the way. SPF doesn't work like that. So if you put... SPF 20 and then you put SPF 30 it doesn't like become SPF 50 it's basically it's it, it's better for you so you're, you're kind of it's just it's kind of good that you are applying more I don't know how to it doesn't double it up but it does give you a bit more kind of protection but it doesn't increase the strength if that makes sense so I love, someone's put, Lynette's put, I love this live, get to meet others. I love this live because I feel like not only am I chatting to you guys, I love the fact that you guys are chatting to each other 
because I feel like we've already got such an amazing community here. And I love that about this. That's one of my favorite things about this YouTube channel is the community that we've built here. But what I really love is obviously some of you, I see you guys chatting on the comments and stuff on other videos, not on lives, because obviously lives, I'm still new to it. But I really love how you guys are able to kind of chat here. It's like we're all sitting in the same room, you know. So I think it's, that's what makes lives so special, I think. So, okay, let's read a couple more messages while I'm letting my moisturizer kind of just settle down. Alexis, it's Ramadan. I'm in Dubai. Hi, Alexis. I am excited to get back, I'll be honest, to Dubai. I'm excited to get back to a routine and back into the dry weather. <laughs> I know it's getting hot there at the moment. Um, someone's place, 8, 8 a.m. in New York. Is it 8 a.m. in New York? Yeah. On a Sunday, I'm home relaxing and watching. It's a better time for, for California. This, this time is perfect, 5 p.m. in Vegas. Okay. I'm trying to think what time it would be in the Dubai. My husband's in the room, by the way. Let me ask him. Babe, what time would it be in Dubai? Yeah. <laughs> four, four in the morning. Guys, I don't know if I could do four in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if I could do four in the morning. I could maybe do six in the morning because I don't mind that because it means that I'm up early. But um, you guys seem to love this time. So if it's six in the so then it will be six in the evening in LA. Yeah, it'll be six. So if I do six in the morning in Dubai, it will be six in the evening in LA. What kind, how does that time sound, guys? I can't obviously read off all of the places. I'm not good with this whole what is the time in other places, by the way. I have to double check with him. Okay, moisturizer's on, but it's good to know that, guys. I really want some feedback with you in terms of like what, you know, to do there in terms of timing and everything. So this is actually a good indicator as to this, this time clearly works really well. Someone else is in Houston and they're like 7 p.m. here. Great timing. Someone's put, Janet has put, 6 p.m. in L.A. would be 9 p.m. in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys would like that. Okay, let me have a little meeting with husband when we're back, figure out the timing and see if that kind of works or if it, you know, doesn't. I have a feeling if we do that time, then it's not exactly the greatest time for the U.K. from what I know. Yeah, see, a lot of you guys are, even though it's a crazy time in the UK, a lot of you guys are up for Ramadan. So that's why it works currently. But then when Ramadan's over, then you're going to be probably sleeping. So we'll have to figure that out. So anyway, OK, next up, we are going to get started with this routine that is going to absolutely save your life when it comes to humidity and, and just the heat. Your makeup is going to look amazing. I was so shocked as I've been checking my face throughout the day, especially because when we're walking around, I'm just literally so, like, just sweating. Like, so, I can't even begin to tell you. I have to have, like, two, three showers a day here. So, let's get started. Obviously, I'm going to start with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids. But I don't actually have a mirror here. I'm just going to use a small compact. Um, okay, so let's put some of this on my eyelids. So I'm just going to go ahead with my beauty blender and buff this in. Now, you don't actually want to put too much of this on. You've really got to figure out what works for you. It should take you literally a couple of seconds for it to blend into the skin, and that should be enough, right? So you shouldn't be there, like, forever trying to blend it all in, right? This is where I'm super excited. I picked up this at the beginning of my trip here in Sephora, the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. My shade is Sweet Honey, which is basically a banana, right? That's 
honestly the color of it it's like the same as if you go out and get a banana powder so i'm going to tip some of this into the lid here and now i've got my lawn mercier powder puff and before i do that i'm just going to like make sure there's no creases because i've been looking up okay so i've got the powder puff going into this powder i'm just going to press it there you go okay now this is just my real techniques brush i'm just going to dust this powder off there you go and we've got a few more people oh my god i cannot believe how many of you it's the first time for you guys which is great i'm so excited to have you here okay so eyelids are done right they're nice and kind of like even now next step is we're going to get some more spf on so this is my charlotte tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. This is SPF 50. Okay, we're going to get some of this. And I like to wait quite a while after I've applied my moisturizer because I just feel like everything builds up otherwise. Okay. So I'm just reading some of your. Messages. Yeah, so I've clearly made some of you guys buy the Real Techniques brushes. They're so good. Okay, so we've got the primer on, right? Primer is on. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lip product on which is my dual lip maximizer tiny bit my skin type sheena is combination so it's kind of like a little it's a little bit dehydrated in certain areas and it's you know i break out easily the only reason i break out easily is because of wearing makeup so often because of what i do and with youtube and everything other than that it's kind of like you know Kind of normal to be honest um but i used to break out a lot when i was young i used to get when i was at school i didn't have any acne my skin was actually really good but it's only in my adult life that i started getting acne especially around the jawline more kind of hormonal acne and stuff and like kind of around i have a little bit of acne scarring uh on this side here there's a little bit here but more so here so slightly kind of like you know slightly pitted skin in certain areas which i really hate but you know, you learn to learn to deal with it. So, okay, next up, we are going to now apply our base. So I'm going to be kind of like sandwiching the concealer in. So we're going to be putting our CC cream. I'm not using a actual foundation. I'm using the It Cosmetics CC cream. And my shade is neutral tan. Now I want to get my brush and my brush is my Sigma F85 brush, right? Now, what I'm going to do is get some of this. I do this like I've got a mirror in front of me, guys. I don't have any mirror in front of me. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on either side. There you go. You can see I've got a tiny bit on each cheek there. Should be enough at the moment. Now, I've got my brush. And now we are going to in circular movements kind of buff this in i honestly love cc cream especially the it cosmetics one it's so good i take whatever's left on the brush and put it onto the forehead And by the way, guys, as I'm putting, like, rubbing this in, I don't know if this is a general kind of thing that is out here a lot, but there are these specific cookies <laughs> that they have in the breakfast area. And 
they're so good. They're just in a jar, and I just can't stop eating them. They're so good. They're like, it says they're chocolate cookies, but they're made out of coconut oil. And they're so light. You could literally eat about five with no problem. They're tiny, by the way, really tiny biscuits. And they're so good. Yeah, it's a random bit of information. I can't stop eating these cookies while I'm here. Been to a lot of hawker stands while we've been here. Great food. Went to Newton Centre, which is in that movie, Crazy Rich Asians. Great food. Amazing kind of like satay and wings we had there. So good. So can you see we've got CC cream all over, right? It's given a really nice kind of even finish all over the skin. Like my skin doesn't look so patchy now. So now we're going to go in with a bit of concealer and I'm going to now apply this on the under eye area. And there's actually two concealers I'm going to be using. You don't have to use two concealers. The reason I am using it out here is because my this the other concealer is a bit warmer and because I can but basically like even, it's, you know, I'd say the first half of the day, it's quite sunny. And then the second half, it's a little bit kind of cloudy. So even with that, you still tan a little bit. And I feel like I need that kind of like warmth a little bit in my concealer. Otherwise, this is a bit kind of too white for me. So I'm going to put my concealer on. Okay. That's my concealer done there, right, with the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I'm going to put a tiny bit of this other concealer, which is my Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting Concealer in Warm Beige. And this is quite a warm concealer for me. So what I'm going to do here, again, mirror, put a tiny dot there, tiny dot there, and tiny dot there. That's it. And all this does is it kind of like stops the Tarte Shape Tape from, number one, being so kind of like dry on my skin, because this is a lot more fluid. And secondly, it just adds that bit of kind of like nice warmth to my skin that I feel like I kind of need at the moment. But using it on its on its own, using just the Tarte Shape Tape, not the Tarte Shape If I use just that Too Faced concealer, it isn't enough because it's kind of like, it doesn't give me the coverage that I want. So, okay, now I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. I'm just buffing this in here. Okay, got my sponge. I'm going to read some of your comments in a sec. Let me just do this under eye. Oh, okay, so now this area here, we want to really keep under the eye. I don't want to spread it out too much, right? I just want to get that nice coverage under the eye. Honestly, that's kind of it. I'm going to take a little bit over that area there just because I felt like I needed it. So the skincare that I got on is really good to kind of like keep me hydrated through the day. Um, I've got my SPF. So my skin is protected. Now one last bit. I'm going to take a little bit of that CC cream on the back of my hand. And I'm going to sandwich this concealer in. So it doesn't look so disconnected. Because you know usually I underpaint, right? But with this whole look... This is what has really been working for me. So very quickly, we are going to add a little bit of kind of cream blush. And I'm going to show you that in a sec. Someone has put. OK, someone's put Lynette's put I love soft chocolate chip with peanut butter in it. Mm, I love peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter is great. OK, what else do we have? That CC cream looks flawless on your skin. It gives a nice radiance. Yeah, it's very good. This is actually a matte one. So it's an oil-free, CC plus oil-free matte. 
and this is SPF 40. So you can see I've got my SPF 20 in my moisturizer, I've got SPF 50 in my primer, and then I've got SPF 40 in my CC cream. Again, doesn't mean that all kind of accumulate, like it doesn't add it all those, it doesn't all add up and then create a new number SPF, but it is gonna help to protect your skin a little bit better. So it's not gonna do any bad for your skin, it's only gonna be good for your skin. So for me, I, I just know that my skin is nicely protected while I'm outside because the skin is actually, uh, the skin, the sun is actually quite strong here, I've, I've noticed, because I went down to sit by the pool for a little bit the other day. And honestly, I just felt like I was out there for five minutes and I could feel my kind of arms burning a little bit. You can't even tell. It's one of those like, you've got to be you know careful a little bit. So, okay, another product I bought at the beginning of my trip was another one size product. And this is the Cheek Clapper Blush Trio. And this is in Freaky Peach. It is amazing. There's a cream blush in here and there's a normal powder blush. And then there's like a slightly radiant blush in here. So I'm going to use the shade Rump Shaker. And I just want to show you this. It is like this. That's what the blush looks like. How stunning is that? It's such a nice color. I love peach for my skin tone. So what I'm gonna do is get a bit of this, the cream blush. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger here and I am gonna, oh, I've got the mirror here. I'm like, where's the mirror? Put it here. And by the way, I did, I've been doing this last few days. This is the same look I've been doing every day, literally. And it's been amazing. It looks so good on the skin. So I'm hoping you can see that really nice, like kind of cheek color that we've got here. Literally just using my finger to pat it in. So you know what I've realized? I have like the plastic thing on the mirror. Cause I'm like, why does my skin look so, there you go. You know that new bit on the, oh, that's so much better. Okay, so this, I'm kind of just taking this over this upper part of the cheekbone. And by the way, later on in the day, your skin ends up looking better and better with this whole look, by the way. I just feel like it just doesn't even look like you've got anything on. It's just your skin looks so healthy, this whole look. So I'm super excited for you guys to try this out. Need some more on this side. And I love how pigmented this whole blush, kind of cream blush is. Oh, my black back just clicked. Okay. So I'm gonna just answer a question. Lynette has said, have you ever underpainted with blush? Yeah, which is kind of what we're doing, but kind of not what we're doing because we're not actually gonna go over with foundation on this, but I have done it, yeah, and it, it's great. I actually do have a few videos of that up. So can you see this really nice blush coming through? It's just a really nice kind of peachy color coming through. So I think we're done with that. What I did forget <laughs> to, to back was wipes, which has been really annoying. But yeah. Okay. Let's just... Uh... So Samita has put, Nina, does using eyelid primer as under eye primer before concealer prevent creasing? Personally, I don't like that. I don't think it works well. I think it's an unnecessary layer. The worst thing you want to do is add unnecessary layers on the under eye area because it's just going to look, it's just, unfortunately, that area is so delicate because your skin is the thinnest there than anywhere else on your body. So you've really got to be gentle with it and not build up too much product. So I wouldn't recommend using eyelid primer on your under eyes. It it will just actually go a bit weird. That's the only way I can describe it. It will go weird. So, you know, I would 
I do have videos which explain how to actually set the under eye area and everything. So have a look at my playlist and you might find something that's going to work well for you. But I am going to, in the meantime, set this. So someone has put, I did my own makeup for my birthday photo shoot because of you. You looked amazing. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. And I'm so glad that you did that and you had the confidence to do that and you were happy with it. That's amazing. So I'm going to set this now. So I've got my powder here in the lid, right? Getting my powder puff ready. And first thing I want to do is make sure there are no creases anywhere. I'm going to use the back of the sponge. Get rid of any creases. On the under eye. Okay. Got my powder puff. Okay. Got my powder. Right, I'm just going to go over the whole face now, now that I've done the under eyes. So I'm pressing all over. And you'll find, by the way, with this powder, I'm just going to go, this is the one part of my whole routine that I always go quiet because it's such a crucial part. Okay, I've pressed it all over, guys, right? I'm gonna get my big brush, my bail brush. Just gonna dip it into the powder, whatever's left in the back in the lid. And now I'm dusting all this off. I always do the under eye with a different brush. I use my real techniques for that. Lightly dust it off. There you go. Powder is off. We're ready for the brows. And I'm really excited for you guys to see this whole look because it's honestly so nice. So that's what I was going to say to you. This powder, I'm going to get whatever's left in this lid and put it back in here because I don't want to waste just any of this. So let me just get that powder out of there. Because honestly, it is such a good powder. You need to go and get this. All the links are in the description. You need to get yourself this powder. Because if you are worried about your makeup not staying put, I can't even begin to tell you just how amazing this powder is. This has to be one of the best purchases I've made in a very long time. So, okay, let's get to a couple of questions before I get on with my brows. So, let's see. Okay, someone called Amal has said, I started using La Prairie products for my skincare routine and I've already started seeing a difference on my skin. What are your thoughts, especially the fact that it's a really expensive brand? So I used to use La Prairie products as skincare as well. And I actually really, really liked them. I thought they, it was, it's difficult because when it's a really expensive brand, you're kind of like, okay, you feel like, oh, I spent so much money on this skincare and it's just literally disappearing <laughs> on my skin as I'm applying it every day. And you know that at some point it's going to finish and then you're going to have to kind of like buy it again, right? So it's quite kind of, it's quite annoying that it's so expensive, but at the same time, when you see the difference that it makes, it kind of makes you feel a bit better about it. Because if it isn't making a difference, then you kind of feel really rubbish, don't you? Because you're like, okay, okay I've just gone and spent all this money. And, you know, it's not really doing much to my skin. So I totally understand the frustration. But if you're seeing a difference in it, I feel like it's just, that's just good. Do you know what I mean? So I personally saw a good, a, 
a big difference in my skin when I used La Prairie. I used it when I was a bit younger. So I feel like maybe when I'm, you know, I'm using, like finished the skincare that I'm using now. And like, I know that I am happy with what I'm using. It doesn't mean that if it works for me when I was younger, it's going to work for me now. So you've really got to see what works for your skin at this moment. Cause I feel like you have to adapt with your skin, with the kind of brands that you're going to use as well. So if it works for you, then great, continue using it. It's great. So someone has put, Lynette has put, would your hubby ever think of doing your makeup? Babe, yeah. people are asking if you will do my makeup because you guys love the voiceover because you love my husband so much because his voiceover is apparently amazing. By the way, he's loving reading these comments. He's loving them. He's like, babe, they said this about me. They said that they want me to do another one. He's loving it. So, and obviously, like, you know, all the comments are so amazing. So, you know, I love them too. But, um, yeah, babe, they want, they're wondering if you would do my makeup. <laughs> Why do you sound so, you sound so you confident sound so about it? Like, as if. You would grace me with your presence of doing my makeup. I think you'd actually be quite good. I think that's quite interesting, actually. Like, I wonder what what, what kind of, I wonder how you would do my makeup. Very well. I'm not sure about the brows, though. <laughs> you said you give me Cara Delevingne brows. Uh, she's actually got really good brows she's got good brows they suit her but they wouldn't suit me babe this isn't do my makeup so that it looks bad this is do my makeup so it looks good but at the same time it's like <laughs> you don't have any creativity <laughs> let you express your creativity <laughs> Okay, we'll do it. Lynette, we will do it. Because he's very confident about it. He's like, oh, I would do an amazing job. Let me express my creativity. Um, so let's do that. We're going to do that. That's going to be fun. Okay, so someone has put, what cream bronzer, cream and powder bronzer would you recommend? Having trouble matching them. Can't get Patrick Tar here. That's so annoying. Maybe try shop and ship <laughs> because that's all we do if we can't get something we buy it shop and ship it um but uh, honestly i would recommend the pat the, the patrick no hold on this is not patrick tar this is patrick star do you have patrick star this is the patrick star one size so um what else So Francesca has put, I'm having a hard time matching foundation. It's either light or too dark. How do I know how to find one that matches my skin? I have a whole video on this, right? And it's a really, really good video. So go over and check it out. It'll probably be on my foundation playlist. But I can see this bit here. It's really annoying. Me. So, but there's a whole process to it. So it's too long for me to explain on here. But it, it, there's a whole process to it because really, in a nutshell, let me explain to you, when you're picking your foundation shade, um, I've got some funny messages I'm going to read in a minute. So when you are picking your foundation shade, so you go to the store, right? And you see that there's like loads of foundations out here. So this whole shelf foundations, right? And you look at it and you're like, okay, I don't even know where to start, right? How am I going to make sure I get the right foundation shade? You have to, number one, you have to trust yourself, right? You've got to have a bit of trust in yourself and what you're seeing and what colors you're seeing. Because, and the reason I say that, it sounds like such a basic thing to do, but the reason I say that is because what happens is you go in, you see all these colors, you see like, you see like 50 colors and you just overwhelm yourself and you're just like, I don't know, you give up before you've even tried. You have to have a little bit of faith in, your, in yourself. You have to have a little bit of trust that you understand what is dark, what is light, what is medium, right? So go in, have a look at that whole shelf. Now, you know, let's 
to say light is over here, dark is over here. You know, if you are my color, right? I will know, well, I'm definitely not at the beginning of this. I'm definitely not at the end of this. Like I know for a fact, I'm not that color. I know for a fact, I'm not that color. But then what about the, the 10 shades in between, right? So you have number one, what you've done there is narrowed it down. That's the first step. Great job. You've narrowed it down. You know that you're not within that first category. You know, you know, you're not within that last category, but you know you're in that middle category somewhere, right? Now that you've narrowed it down to that, you know you have to look at that in the same way you looked at that that whole shelf as a whole. Now that one category is light to dark again. You know you're definitely not light, you know, you're definitely not dark. So then you've narrowed it down again. You're getting smaller and smaller and smaller as you go along. So it's it's a really basic thing to do, but Sometimes we forget because we become so overwhelmed with all these colors in front of us and you just see a whole load of colors and you're like, I don't even know where to start. Slow down, think about it, look at slowly, slowly kind of narrow it down into a smaller category. When you've narrowed it down to let's just say five shades, that's where you want to start trying it on. So you maybe get a little bit, put it on the jawline. What I usually do is start from the lightest, work my way and then have a look in the daylight. So put those swatches on, understand, remember what your first color is and you've done, let's just say, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, those are the shade colors. Go out in the daylight, don't look in the store because the store lighting is always so bad. Go to the daylight, have a look with your mirror and just see which one kind of like seems like it, it kind of disappears into your skin tone. There's a couple of things you need to remember with this. Number one, do you want it to be your exact skin tone? Because with a lot of people, especially if you are tanned, your face is a different color to your neck, right? So my, my face is lighter than my neck. So my, the skin on my face is always a little bit paler than anywhere else on my body. Do I want it to match my face exactly or do I want it to match my neck? You've got to figure that out first. Know what you're going in, you know, know what you want first before you go in. Because if you don't know that, it's going to confuse you even more because it might be matching your skin tone really well here, but then it's just like still different because your face is maybe a different shade. So remember all these things, go in, you need to take all these things into consideration and just kind of quiet in your mind a little bit. I know it sounds silly, but it honestly works. And just categorize things, like categorize things and then narrow it down, narrow it down, narrow it down. Hope that helps, but there is a whole video on that to figure out like how you do that. So I saw some of you were leaving comments and you were like taking, oh, that was the funny part that I found in that voiceover too. So someone's put whack it on your face. I know, he was like, he was like, just whack it on your face. And then when I was putting my eyebrow stuff on, he was like, now, now flatten it out and spread it onto your forehead <laughs> I'm just sitting there like what <laughs> but yeah it was funny so I was like Samita's like he would do it like a pro for sure Lynette's like you might use a stencil for your brows you never know he might look into this stuff now free oh you don't you do it freehand babe okay no need for stencils he said Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Someone's like, is she doing live right now? And you're like, calm. Yes. <laughs> calm. She's doing live every Sunday. <laughs> Someone's watching from Indiana as well. Hi, I'm from Philippines. I love your makeup combination. Hi, I hope you're all well. Calm is like, well, it's not calm, obviously. But she's like, hey, my name is Rihanna. She just realized everyone's just saying calm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to get on with it now. I'm going to do my brows. What can you, okay, this is a good question. Shana said, what can you add to foundation to make it darker for when you have a tan? So I have a warmer foundation that I always keep with me. And this is the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. And this is quite warm. On its own, it's too dark. You can probably see just from that, right? This is 47S Tan Deep Sand. And this is my kind of like, this has nearly run out now, but this is my foundation that I use when I 
basically am tanned. So I brought that with me because I didn't know if I was going to get tanned or anything. So what I do is I use my normal foundation as a base. And then if I'm a little bit tanned, I put half a pump of that in it. And that kind of sorts me out depending on like how uh, tanned I kind of like am. So, okay. I'm just reading a couple of more questions. Hi, Ruby. She said, I now have a seasonal foundation. Yeah, it's like, it honestly is like life-saving, isn't it? It's, it's, it's so, it's such a game changer, just understanding that, okay, I've got a foundation for this season, I've got a foundation for that season, and then I can use both of them if I need to, right? Okay, so I'm going to do the brows very quickly now. So now what I'm going to do is get my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen, and I am going to basically draw in some hairs but I just need to clean this mirror because this is like quite smudgy. There you go. Okay, that's better. So I'm gonna just draw in some hairs here. I feel like that went a bit weird. No, it didn't. This is running out now. I'm gonna need to get a new one of this. There you go. So, so far every day, the weather's been like, it hasn't rained. And then yesterday it rained. And actually we went to go see the Merlion yesterday, which we've seen before. So we've done a stop off in Singapore before. We've been here for two days on a stop off to another place. And we, within those two days, we did quite a lot. We did Universal Studios, we did uh, gardens by the bay and all that kind of stuff in, in those two days but there was so much more that we didn't see so on this trip this is like a dedicated trip because it's not a stop off so it's really kind of like seeing all the things that we didn't get a chance to kind of like do and yesterday wow we went to Chinatown and it was amazing it was so stunning it was like I said this, so I vlogged it, by the way. I've done a whole vlog on this trip, which is going to be on my other channel this coming Sunday, uh, next Sunday. So you're going to see that, that you're going to love it. So that will, if you really want to see a whole kind of overview of what the trip's been like, make sure you do head over and check that vlog out next Sunday because it's going to uh, give you an understanding to what I actually did on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a few days in one in that vlog. And basically yesterday it was like really colourful, it's so colourful, it's so pretty, everything was so pretty and like old but also new, like such good condition and yeah, it was, it was really, really good and what else have we done? So I'm just kind of getting this brow right. I feel like I'm this whole like setup doing a live, I'm telling you, really messes with your head. This isn't obviously a normal way to sit and do your makeup, right? But it's really, it really messes with your head because you kind of, you look at this, the cam, the laptop, you know, like to see like, okay, how am I doing this? Like, does this look normal to you guys? So I'm looking to make sure everything's normal and I am not seeing it as being symmetrical. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, what is going on? Okay, so just at the beginning. Now I'm going to take my pencil. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in Natural Brown. Loving this pencil at the moment. It's a really, really good brow pencil. <sighs> okay. Everyone wants you to do my makeup, babe. And then are you going to do like, you're going to talk through it as well? No, we can both talk in that. Yeah. He's going to get annoyed with me. I'm telling you that now. When he's doing my makeup, because I will be saying things like, what are you doing? <laughs> he's going to get annoyed. He's going to be like, just let me do it. <laughs> um... So, hi, Gloria. Hello, Nina. From New Jersey. Nina, where are you doing your live from? I'm from Singapore. 
I'm in Singapore right now. Huh? How do I say it weird? <laughs> okay, so how are you saying it? Singapore. It, but I'm saying it and I'm excited. I'm from Singapore. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't always say things in the right way, but I don't care. Um, I'm just reading your messages. So have any of you guys been here has anyone actually been here like or do any of you actually live here tracy's like hi how are you how's the dog nico's good they send us pictures every day he's having a staycation with his friends while we're here he absolutely loves it he gets so excited when we drop him it's crazy he's like super excited but I can't wait to pick him up. And will you do a soft glam tutorial? Yeah, sure. I will do that soon. So, okay, let me now shade in my brows. So this is where I now kind of start shading them in because I did that beginning part with the pen. Ooh, stressful brow time is always, always stressful. Okay, so. Yeah, would love to know if any of you guys have actually been to Singapore. Okay. So Okay, I'm happy with that brow. Now we've got to go and do the other one. This other one gives me a bit, a bit of headache. I'm going to be honest. The other brow, this one, this one tends to be fine. But the other one, I don't know, I have some weird view of it that I feel like it doesn't look like what I see it to look like. It's weird. So, like, I feel like I do it and I feel like it's fine. And then if I see a picture, I'm like, whoa, that is so different to the other brow. So I don't know if anyone else has that. And this, this brow tires me out as well, I've noticed. It's like the other one, I'm like totally fine with it. I swear my stomach is rumbling so much. It's crazy. Yeah, this is this bra really annoys me. Like, if I'm ever late because of my brows, it's because of this brow. This is the brow that really does stress me out. Sometimes I just give up on it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, all right, whatever. It's just not happening, right? Okay. Okay. 
Let me take a break from that brow. <laughs> so I'm gonna just read a couple of your messages. Okay, so how do I stop foundation from coming off of my nose? Also, what's your favorite makeup look? I think this is my favorite makeup look because this is a day-to-day -day look for me, what I'm doing today. Um, but I do look more, I do like more glam looks as well. Um, I haven't worn eyeliner for quite a while, so I'm thinking I might do something like that soon. So, yeah, when you... Uh, do your makeup for your nose you've really got to make sure you kind of like because I feel like a lot of the time you you don't put as much there because you kind of think okay I don't want as much makeup there which is right because you don't need as much makeup there but you still need to set it in the same way you know so that it does actually stay in place what's the longest time you spent on your brows I reckon I reckon at least huh no it's not three hours obviously but it's been at least 30 minutes, I'd say, if it's really stressed me out, if it's a really important thing that I'm going to. 20 minutes, not half an hour, but 20 minutes, I'd say. See, this is so annoying, this brow, because I feel like it's higher than the other brow. So because it's naturally higher than the other brow. My application is a little bit different for that brow. So basically I have to make sure. Oh my God, I hate it. I have to basically make sure that it's lower I apply more on the underside of this brow, but less on the top. So I've got to basically, so I get a lip brush. I've got a lip brush here. These are really good for this, by the way. And this is my little trick. I get a little bit of concealer, put it on the back of my hand, tiny bit of concealer. And then I've got my lip brush and I coat it with this concealer. I, don't, I make sure there's not a lot of product actually on this. And then what I do is I go along the top part of the brow. Let me do it here so you guys can see. And I basically bring this brow a bit lower. Let me explain this to you, right? This is a really kind of, this, this can help in so many other ways, by the way. This is why I think it's really important that you guys get this. Okay, so I haven't finished my brows clearly, right? So hold on, that one is, yeah. So the reason why this is really important for you guys to get is because it can help you in so many other things. So now this brow is higher. So I have less hair on the underside of it. So I have to apply more product on the underside. But the problem is, is when I do that, it looks much thicker than the other brow. Now, what I do is I get the concealer brush and I basically paint over the top power, top power. I shape the top part of the brow, right? And what that does is it kind of like, it kind of, because it's like that, it levels it out, right? So it, it makes it level. You can do this with anything on your eyes. So like if you feel that, okay, you know what, maybe one eye is slightly more droopy than the other. So when you apply eyeliner exactly the same, one still looks higher than the other. You can do the exact same thing as what I did. So you can use this technique, what I've just used, that little trick, on anywhere on the face, right? It's honestly gonna, gonna work great for you. So see, I can still see that's a little bit kind of higher, right? You're obviously not gonna get it perfect, right? So I get that, but you, you wanna get it as good as you can get it. So 
Okay. Let's just make sure I've got this the right way. And okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do with my brows, this is it's always a three-step process with my brows. I use the Anastasia Bubbly Heels brow pen in chocolate. And I start basically, I just take off the excess on a tissue because I don't want it to be too dark. And I start drawing in the hairs. Right, and I can see that I just need to add a bit more of this because so I'm going to get that concealer and that concealer brush. I can see that I've gone a little bit low here because it happens, it is normal. Okay. Right, I've got my brow pen again. I'm gonna do on this side. Okay, so I've just kind of literally shaped that brow as well. And I need some more here. Okay, now I'm a bit happier with that. I feel like that's a bit better, but I can see a little There you go. I'm too much of a perfectionist with my makeup. There is such thing as being too much of a perfectionist with your makeup. I, I, I am a bit kind of, a bit much with that, I think. Okay, I think I'm kind of like done with that. I'm happy with that. But hopefully that tip has helped you with other stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you guys are like enjoying this. So someone has said, have you checked out Jewel? Taurus seems to love the butterfly garden free movie and the pool at the airport trans transit. Uh, have we done that? Oh, yeah, we can leave a bit earlier then and, and go there. So we'll check that out when we do leave. Oh, my God. Someone says I spend a good 20 minutes on brows and then I clean my face and redo it again. No, I would be there all day. I can just imagine it. Look, I am not, I get it. I get it that that could potentially happen. I have really thin brows. I do your technique putting under the hairline of my eyebrows. You use the shade light on my hair. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, brows are done. Now I am going to do my mascara. We are literally going to be done in five minutes now. So. I'm gonna sh just curl my lashes. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna use this mascara, my Maybelline Sky High, but this is the black one, it's cosmic black. I honestly don't see a difference between this and the other one, but you know, it's supposed to be more black. So, 
I use a different mascara on my lashes. I'm going to explain that in a sec when I show you. But this is a really good mascara. Does anyone else overpack, by the way, when they go on holiday? Because I do. I swear I haven't worn half of the stuff I've bought with me. There was literally no point in me bringing half of my suitcase. Okay, so you can see this is a good mascara. It's just really easy and quick to apply. I'm going to apply more of that blush in a bit as well because I want to show you the powder. I like I've been using all three of them on a daily basis. So the cream blush, the powder blush, and then the highlight blush. Okay, that's the top lashes done. Now I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, mascara, Hello Talk mascara on my lower lashes. I just feel like this brush is like the perfect size for the lower lashes. Okay, that is that mascara done. Now I'm gonna just apply some lip liner. I'm using my Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. So let's read a couple of messages. Okay, Ems has said, any summer foundations you could recommend for hot weather? Yes, so, well, firstly, this whole routine is amazing for hot weather. But if you're looking for just a foundation for the, for hot weather, I would recommend the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. It's great. That's also a really, really good one. Um, any suggestions to keep mascara from flaking? I really think that's down to the mascara. Because I've, I've not had that... I've probably had that problem once or twice with a couple of foundation uh, mascaras. But I've changed mascara and then I've been fine. Number one, you've got to make sure your lashes are clean before you put your mascara on. Because if they're not, then that could be causing, you know, the, uh, the flaking because there's too much of a product buildup. Number two, you want to make sure you use a mascara that generally is a good mascara. That doesn't necessarily mean an expensive mascara. For example, the Maybelline mascara is good, doesn't flake at all. So check those things as well. Okay, so this lip liner is my uh, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. I just smudge it inwards. I don't think I've gone to breakfast this glam. Well, it's not really glam, but I mean, so far I've been going to breakfast. I think one of the days I did my makeup first and then went, but some of the days I've been going to breakfast and then coming back and then getting ready. So yeah, this is now my other lip pencil, which is the Swede Lip Pen Liner in Cindy. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of feather in
There you go. So that is my lip done. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, now I'm gonna just contour my nose very quickly. So I'm gonna use my, this is my Fenty Sunstalker in Shady Biz, my 200 brush. And I'm just gonna go down the side of the bridge of the nose. Same thing here, right? So my no nose goes a little bit that way. I don't know if you can see it, it goes that way a bit, right? So I basically wanna make sure that this line comes down a little bit onto the actual bridge of the nose, just to straighten it. And then the other side, it's just as normal. Okay, I'm gonna do a little V here. Just gonna go over with a little bit of that powder and then I like to get a little bit of this. So this is my BK Beauty 204 brush and then my Doll 10 eye pencil in vanilla bean. Or there's another shade called Gratitude, which is great. I put a little bit on the brush. I love these eye pencils. They're absolutely amazing. And then I just use it at the tip a little bit. There you go. Okay, so I've got my hourglass brush. I've got my one size made for shade bronze and sculpt trio in medium dark. And I use that top shade there. Sometimes I just mix them all together. Take off the excess on a tissue. What you're gonna love about this look is your skin just looks kind of like skin. It doesn't look cakey. Like it doesn't even look like you've got foundation on. It's crazy. Okay, Whew. this is where you can go into a little bit of the powder and this is where I just like to kind of just kind of like almost like blend everything together. Yeah. Now, I wanna get my BK Beauty 108 brush. And I'm gonna go into my blush, that one size blush I was using. So again, this is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. And I used Rump, sh Rump Shaker when I first applied it underneath my powder. So I applied the cream blush. Now I'm gonna use the shade F Freaky, which is that middle one there. And it's quite pigmented, so you want to take the excess off. And I'm going to just go over this section here. Go over the nose a bit if you want. That's enough blush there. Now I've got my BK Beauty 201 brush. I'm going to go into that other blush now, the end blush. That is the kind of, it's called Whiplash, and it's got a little bit of kind of highlight in there. And I'm just going to go to the peaks of the cheekbone. Oh, 
I don't like putting a lot because I don't really want super, super kind of, like a, I don't want like a highlight or anything going on. And at this point, I just go back in with the brush that I applied the bronzer with. And I don't put more product on. I just kind of see, is there, is there kind of like, just want to take off any excess. Do I need to kind of like sculpt the area a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Now, a little bit of powder. Whoops. Okay. This powder is absolutely amazing, guys, honestly can't get over the powder it's so so good right so let's see that is it that is this look done this is my day-to-day -day look while i've been here in singapore and it's been amazing for me like genuinely this will last honestly guys this looks even better later it's so so good I'm getting paranoid about my brows. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my brows the same. This one needs to be a little bit up. Yeah. Hopefully you get the struggle that I'm talking about. But yeah, this is going to last all day and your skin looks better and better. Honestly, I just feel like, the, you know, it's as struggle as it is for us guys, yeah, when it comes to putting makeup on and keeping it there. But like having a routine which allows your makeup to one stay put in humidity this it's not just this powder it's this entire routine right because anyone can put this powder on and it's going to work great by the way but this whole step step by step process the layering the exact way that I have layered is going to really help your makeup to stay put and you won't get the shine come through like honestly later on in the day I've been walking outside all day there's no shine. It looks healthy, but there's no shine. There's no like kind of like, it's not greasy. It's not like, oh my God, it's like melting off my face or anything like that. Yesterday, it was raining in the afternoon. We walked in the rain. I had drops of water on my face. And then I, I was like, okay, well, this is going to be a good test to see what this looks like. I looked in the mirror, not a single like water drop thing, you know? You know, like when you can see it ruins your makeup and you're like, oh my God, that's where I had a drop of water come on my skin. Nothing like that. And then I even said to my husband, I was like, I said to Bobby, I was like, what does my face look like? He was like, yeah, it looks completely fine, you know? So you guys are going to love this. I want you guys to actually go and try this routine. So here's what I want to do, right? For the next live, I want you guys to get your makeup ready right? So on the next live, not only do I want you guys to be here with me, I'm going to be back in Dubai at that point, but not only do I want you to be part of the live, I want you to get your makeup out and I want you to try some of it as we go along. Now, obviously, you're not going to have maybe the exact same products at me, but at the end of the day, you clearly watch this channel and you watch me because you you like makeup, you want to learn to apply makeup, or you want to get better at, at applying it, you want to understand makeup better, you want to understand your face better, you want to understand techniques better. So if that is the case, even if you don't have the exact same makeup, like I would really love if you get your makeup out and you sit with me and you kind of like do little parts of it, even if you can't do the whole thing, right? Before the next live, you will know okay, right, okay, this is what this live is going to be about, because it usually says it on the title and everything. So get all your makeup out, even if you just managed to do the base section with me. I just feel like it's going to help you so much, you're going to feel so much better about it. Because, it, you know, that's the part I would recommend. I love you guys watching this channel. I love having you here. And I love you guys watching the videos. But honestly, if I were to give you my own personal advice too is really do try that because it's gonna make such a big difference because it's fine me saying to you, this is how you do this, but if you can sit with me and do it with me as well, it's gonna make the world of difference as well to your application. And it might actually just make it a little bit easier to process, you know, like things like, okay, that's what she means by buffing. Okay, that's what she means when 
you know, she's like doing it like that and she's at that speed, you know. So like little things like that. Like that. So let me just read through some of your message messages and then I can head down and have some breakfast. Okay, so So someone has put, hi Nina, if the foundation has skincare already, is it okay just to put moisturizer on SPF? Look, there are so many foundations out now that have skincare infused in the foundation. Like, you know, so many foundations say that, okay, we've infused skincare in it, so it's good for your skin. That's great, and I love that whole approach to makeup now. But at the same time, I really do truly believe that you should have your own skincare on underneath as well. I just feel like that kind of protects your skin as well. You're looking after your skin without, you know, with, with the actual skincare products without any color being in there. And secondly, once you then apply your foundation, great if it's going to be good for your skin, but at the same time, you've already, you've already worked on your skin. You're not relying on that foundation for your skincare. So I would still recommend using your skincare underneath. And I would actually highly re recommend still using a primer even if you don't feel like you need it I I just feel like it's that barrier between my skincare and my makeup do, do you know what I mean I don't like the thought of putting makeup directly on the skin so it's that's just me but I would still recommend using your skincare okay so Alicia has, set, has said, suggest a reasonable brush set for Iron Face. Head over to Sigma Beauty, and I'm not sure if they're sold out or not, but head out to Sigma Beauty, and I have a brush set which I've put together, which I think you're going to love, and very good quality brush set, so you're going to like that. Um, someone has put So Fresh... Okay, I like your eyebrows. I'm glad because it took me forever. Okay, I have that powder. It's so good, right? Okay, and soft glam look. Yep, yeah, I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, someone has put, right now I only have time for brows and concealer with a newborn. Honestly, go for a CC cream then. Be amazing cc cream and your brows more than enough bit of lip balm that's fine someone's like i so what else is it here let me see judith nina congrats on the vogue feature i'm so proud i'm not even related thank you judith i really appreciate that that was a big accomplishment for me so i'm really really happy about that and i really appreciate all of your support too so Okay, let's now see. Okay, amazing work as ever. Enjoy Singapore. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my trip. Okay, so fresh and flawless. Samita, amazing. Thank you for taking the time from your Singapore vacay to live stream with us. Oh, you are most welcome. Always learn so much from your tutorials. Okay, What do you use to remove your makeup? Well, I forgot my wipes. Usually I take take my makeup off with my wipes, wipes and then I wash my face and do all my cleansing. So I forgot my wipes, but luckily I bought my uh, Elemis cleansing balm that you just put all over and it just melts everything and then takes it off. And then I continue with my face wash and everything. Um, okay, someone's put, Alicia put, I totally copy your makeup, but still my makeup doesn't look like yours. Look, the easiest way that I can explain this is it's easy to kind of like look at any video and watch someone put makeup on and think, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. But in my brain, the way that I find it helps me to, to kind of like replicate something is if you break everything down to make it so much easier for you. Like, okay, she's done it like, this is how she's applied her makeup. Okay, but what? how is she holding her sponge how is she how much product does she have on her sponge what is the speed at which she's buffing it onto the skin there are so many factors you need to take into consideration so if it's not turning out exactly the same something is missing 
or there's a few things which are missing. So you really need to practice because that's really going to help you. So practice makes perfect and keep watching. Just keep watching because maybe at some point you're going to pick up something that you missed the first time around. Um, I can't imagine you letting your hubby do, do your brows. Yeah, <laughs> neither can I. So we'll, we'll have to see how that go, goes. Okay, Ruby said, great idea for the next live. I'll bring alcohol to <laughs> I might do a better job. Um, Debbie has said, have you met Patrick? No, I haven't, unfortunately. I would love to one day. I would love to. Um, Everyone's going on about the lashes as well. Guys, I know. I see them. I read your comments. We are working on it. Honestly, we are trying. It's just been a bit of a difficult kind of one, like trying to get the lashes out to the US to you guys. It's really a case of just finding someone to be able to kind of distribute for us as well. So we are working on it. We will let you know. I've had so many of you guys actually message about that here. So, okay, I love you guys. I have to go and have my breakfast because I'm sure hubby is hungry too. Are you hungry, babe? Yeah, yeah he's very hungry. <laughs> okay, have fun with hubby. Looking forward to watching more videos. His knowledge is impressive. Yeah, you know why? Because he edits my videos. That's why. He's like, not a, you know, he's not like a secret artist or anything. He literally edits my videos. So he's like, sees me doing the same thing all the time so he knows it so anyway guys i love you so much thank you so much for joining me on this live i have really really enjoyed it chatting to you guys while i've been in singapore and i'm excited to get back to dubai as well and for the next live don't forget please do get all your makeup out sit with me and do your makeup at the same time if you can actually do that on every live session one live isn't going to do it for you I'll be honest with you. I'm very, very honest, right? One live isn't going to make you a pro, but if you keep doing it every live, get your makeup out, let's sit and put makeup on together. Let's make this a thing. Let's actually all, as a community, do this together. You guys are going to learn so much. And plus, the questions that will pop up while you've got your makeup out and while you're doing it are going to be relevant questions. They're going to be questions that are actually really going to help you at that time as well. So sending you lots of love, lots of love, and um, I will see you soon. Okay, have a great day wherever you are. Love you loads. Thanks for coming here and see you soon.